Good evening. Welcome to Crash. It is Wednesday, March 10th. This is our youth group, one of our youth groups. Do you realize it's been over a year now since we've met? Over a year since we met at Serena's house where she where she lived, uh, in the back room where we used to have some great times, some great meetings. Uh, haven't tasted pizza <laughs> there in a long time. Uh, been a long time. Miss those days. God willing, we're able to start meeting again soon and very soon. I'm starting to meet with some pastors at churches to see the possibility of maybe renting uh, space. So anyway, uh, thank you for those of you that continue to watch these. Good evening, John. Uh, thank you for those of you that are loyal to uh, to these to these um, messages of uh, these videos. I appreciate every single one of you. God, I pray that you would bring more and more young people uh, to, 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 to have a hunger uh, to grow in their faith, to have a hunger to grow closer to you, to have a hunger to learn more about the Word. Do that again tonight. Amen. Uh, I, it's something I believe in strongly. Uh, I believe that every Christian should have convictions. I don't, what's a conviction? A conviction is a strong belief strong belief, a strong value that you have that you absolutely won't compromise, you won't give in on it. You'll stand your ground and not and not not be shaken. <coughs> Let me give you some examples. Good evening. Good evening, Adriana. Good to have you watching. I have a a, a strong conviction uh, since I became a Christian. Uh, I have a conviction on on drinking, partying, and getting drunk. Uh, it's something that I, that I personally don't think Christians should do. Uh, I refuse to allow others to try get me to do that. Many times I've had, I've gone places where they try to get me to to drink or have more more than one drink, and and I don't do it because it's a conviction that I have, and I, and I just won't compromise on it. So I try to stay away from places where I know that that is going to happen. No. I can't judge, I can't throw this conviction on others and judge others uh, because it's my conviction. It's, it's something I believe strongly about. I wouldn't want, if, if you had a strong conviction, something you felt strong about, I wouldn't you want you to throw that at me. Uh, it's, it's one that I have. It's almost like my son has different movies that he just loves. And when he comes over to visit, he wants to put the movie on to show me, and it's, and most times I'm not interested in the movie that he's all excited about. So just because I have uh, a conviction on something doesn't mean that I can throw it on someone else. Uh, good evening, Debbie. Isaac and Lucas watching. How you doing, Isaac and Lucas? Good to good to see. You. I can't see you guys. You can see me. Good to have you here tonight. Uh, let me give you another one that I have a con strong conviction on. Uh, you'll never hear me say the F word. Uh, I won't say it even when others around me are, are saying it. Again, it, it's my conviction. I, I can't throw that conviction on others. But personally, that, that word offends me. And so when I hear others share it, saying it, it it's kind of like it makes me cringe. It's like, oh. Why, especially if they're a Christian, it's like, why are they saying that? Now, because it's my conviction doesn't mean that it has to be other people's convictions. But what I want to teach you tonight is, as Christians, we all need to have convictions. There needs to be things that you stand up for that you will not compromise. Whatever that is, uh, you, we, we need to have them. Uh, don't go through your Christian life just not having any values. It's kind of like Collision Church. When we started Collision Church, we came up with five values. And I can remember when we were meeting upstairs in the room here and we were, <clears throat> the leaders that were there at the time, we were talking about values. And I remember this one young man that came, he, he came to Collision for a while when we were meeting at Palms. <clears throat> and he, he was, got up to leave and he said he was a little disappointed. And, and I, was, I was taken back and I said, why? And he said, well, <clears throat> I was hoping that you'd have different values than just all the other churches. And I said, give me a for instance. And he said, well, like authenticity, like being authentic. 
and it just hit me. It was kind of like, wow, wow, yeah. So churches need to have values, things that they, <clears throat> so that it steers everything they do to things that they value, things that they say, this is important to our church. So one of the ones that we have is youth, the children, the, the, to collision, they are important. That's why I continue to do these, these videos. That's why I, I choose to be involved in the ministry of the youth because it's one of our values. It's what, it's what we, we hold dear to. So you all, young people, you, you should have some values, that are things that you hold dear to. Uh, do you have any? <clears throat> and if so, what are they? <clears throat> if you don't, <clears throat> excuse me, if you don't, what could be a value of yours? <clears throat> what could be uh, a conviction of yours that where you say, boy, I, I'm not going to back down from this. Let me sing a little song for you to help you out with this, all right? Now that you know what convictions are and what compromise is, this is a song that goes way back to my time. It's called I Won't Back Down by Tom Petty. Maybe your parents will know this song. You probably won't. Well, I won't back down. No, I won't back down. You can stand me up at the gates of hell, but I won't back down. No, I'll stand my ground. Won't be turned around. And I'll keep this world from dragging me down. Gonna stand my ground and I won't back down. Hey, Jesus, there ain't no easy way out. Hey, Jesus, I'll stand my ground and I won't back down. Well, I know what's right. I got just one life in a world that keeps pushing me around. But I'll stand my ground and I won't back down. I'll keep my convictions and I won't compromise. Yeah, I'll stand my ground and I won't back down. I, Debbie, if Mike is watching this, I just know that he appreciates it. He, I, I know how much he loves my singing. <laughs> All right, let's hear what God has to say about this now, okay? I'm going to give you a, a, a story in the Old Testament of of uh, Joseph that had a strong conviction and what he was willing to do, how he was willing to stand his ground, to stand up to, to, to it. It's found in Genesis 39. Joseph was blessed by God. Remember Joseph, he was sold by his brothers into slavery and in in in, in he was taken to Egypt. <clears throat> but when he was in Egypt, he was... He was blessed by God, and, <clears throat> and as a result, the, the Egyptian leader, Petiphar, uh, wanted him around because everything that he touched was, would turn out great. So let's read this story here in Genesis 39, 6 through 10. It says, So he left, Joseph's care, left, left in Joseph's care everything he had <clears throat> with Joseph in charge. He did not concern himself with anything except the food he ate. Now Joseph was well built and handsome, kind of, kind of like you, Isaac and Lucas. <clears throat> and after a while, his master's wife took notice of Joseph and said, Come to bed with me. But he refused. With me in charge, he told her, my master does not concern himself with anything in the house. Everything he owns, he has entrusted to my care. No one is greater in this house than I am. My master has withheld nothing from me except you because you are his wife. Now then, could I do such a wicked thing and sin against God? And though she spoke to Joseph day after day, he refused to go to bed with her or even be with her. Now, it was, it was he refused to compromise. Now, <clears throat> the story goes on to say that she... She grabbed a hold of his cloak one day and he, as he ran away, and then she accused him of, of trying to, 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 to force her to have sex with him. When, when, the, when Potiphar came back, 
they told them about it, and Potiphar was upset, and he had Joseph put in prison. But Joseph was willing to go to prison, maybe even death, he didn't know that, but he wouldn't compromise. He held on to his conviction. He wouldn't back down. God honors that. And, and, as, and it's, as the story goes on that when he was in prison, he was blessed there with everything. So the prison guard kept doing the same thing with him as Potiphar did because he was used by God. And then in 2 Samuel, we read something quite the opposite now. Uh, we read about David. David was the king, okay? Um, he was the king of the Jews. And, 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 it, and the story goes this. One evening, David got up from his bed and walked around on the roof of the palace. From the roof, he saw a woman bathing. The woman was very beautiful. And David sent someone to find out about her. The man said, isn't this Bathsheba, the daughter of Eliam, and the wife of Uriah the Hittite? Then David sent messengers to get her. She came to him, and he slept with her. And she, he, he, he slept with her. He ended up getting her pregnant. He ended up trying to force the, her husband, who was out in war, to, to sleep with her so he could blame the pregnancy on him. He refused to do it, so he had to put in the front lines and killed in battle. And then the baby died as a result of his sin. Because he compromised. He compromised. I'm sure David had the same convictions that Joseph had. What God says, David was a man after his own heart. So I'm sure David had the same convictions that Joseph did, but he compromised. He, he didn't stand his ground. He, he backed down and gave in to it. So God wants you to to have convictions that you totally believe in. If I had comp if I ever compromised on my conviction of of getting drunk and uh, it could cause all kinds of issues to me, all kinds of trouble. I could easily be driving home and have an accident and kill somebody and, and get be charged with manslaughter and go to prison for 20 years. I I could lose my credibility and my character as a Christian. I could I I would lose my position as teaching you. You would have no respect for me. You wouldn't want me teaching you. You wouldn't, parents, you wouldn't want me leading and, and teaching your children. So, the, so the, there would be a lot to lose if I gave in and compromised. <clears throat> Ray, Manny, good to have you uh, watching with, uh, with your mom. I hope you're listening here. So you, you have a lot to lose if, if you... If you're willing to compromise on your convictions, on, on your values, uh, you you too could lose your 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 character. You, others would think less of you. Uh, <clears throat> you would, you, if you were getting older, a church would never consider you to be a youth leader if you if you if you were doing things that were wrong. So you have to have convictions, and then you have to hold on to them. And don't let anybody change your mind. So maybe some of you young girls that are watching this now, you, I, I've, I've had this in my, in my past. Uh, I got to go share this quickly. Where they said at a young age, many of them took this bracelet, a vow of chastity, where they were going to stay pure until they got married. And they wore this bracelet to remind themselves. It was a conviction that they had. And I knew a lot of these young girls that honored that conviction. They stayed pure until the day they got married. Because I know, because I remember marrying two of them. That's an incredible, incredible, it's, it's like you have to have total respect then for someone like that. So if you want people to respect you, have some convictions that you just won't compromise, that you won't give up. And people will respect you and God will respect you. Amen. Hey, thank you for watching. Uh, God bless you. Have a great night. I want to try so I can get this on Instagram. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Share if you will.